New Brunswick has over 18,000 kilometers of highway and secondary roads. It's no wonder that personal vehicles are the most popular mode of transportation that people in the province use today. Electric vehicles are becoming more and more common to see. Is this the future of how New Brunswickers will stay connected? There are lots of benefits of electric cars. The main one that I think gets talked about the most would certainly be its environmentally friendly nature. It produces less air pollution, which obviously helps mitigate climate change. It's certainly healthier for our human health. It's better for our lungs as well. Another benefit would be its cost-effective nature. Um, this one might surprise some people because the initial price tag is higher than comparable gas-powered vehicles, but with lower fueling costs and lower maintenance costs, over its lifetime, an electric vehicle is significantly cheaper than, uh, than a gas-powered vehicle. One more benefit that I think is a great one is its convenience factor because you can charge at home overnight in a regular house outlet. You never have to make a gas stop in your day-to-day -day life, which is really convenient. So I wanted to buy an electric vehicle because of there's a lot of quality of life improvements. Um, my, it's great not to have to go to a gas station and the maintenance is basically non-existent. There's no oil changes, there's no real fluids of any kind. You do have windshield washer fluid, but that's about it. The, you virtually never need to replace the brakes. Um, the car, when you let off the gas, the accelerator, you, the car actually slows it down by itself, so you don't touch the brakes in any way. An electric motor, when you provide electricity to an electric motor, it turns just like a drill, um, but then when you let off, and it's, you're no longer providing that electric current, it will actually turn into a generator and it will start regenerating electricity to put into the battery. And to do so, it takes a lot of torque and, and energy to turn a motor that doesn't have any electricity being provided to it. And that is what slows down the car. So there's no braking involved at all. With all the benefits of electric vehicles, there are still some concerns people have, including range anxiety, which is the fear that the vehicle will run out of electricity before they reach their destination. I don't think range anxiety is a thing any electric vehicle drivers need to be worried about anymore. The average driver only goes about 50 kilometers a day and that's well within the range of any electric vehicle on the market today. Some electric vehicles have a range of over 600 kilometers per charge. And with being able to fully charge your electric vehicle at home, most vehicles you can charge overnight and that doesn't need to be a concern anymore. For longer trips, those would need some extra planning involved, um, but even some EVs like the Tesla will plan your charging stops out for you when you pick a destination. The eCharge network is a network of public level two and level three DC fast charging stations that MB Power have installed throughout the province of New Brunswick. There are approximately 262 uh, DC fast chargers, level two chargers, and Tesla chargers throughout the province. And MB Power has 79 of those as MB Power branded charging stations. The level two is a lower powered charging station, 240 volt. Those chargers can be used to charge any type of electric vehicle, whether it's a plug-in hybrid or an all-electric vehicle. Whereas the, the level three charging stations, or the DC fast chargers, they're also known as, charge only 100% electric vehicles. They do not charge the plug-in hybrids. So it's very important that you put the charging infrastructure in first, and then the vehicles will come. So we have strategically put them in locations. We started first along the Trans-Canada from Edmonston right through to Olac. But then we also recognized that there are other many major areas throughout the province uh, that we needed them across the northern part and down the, the, the eastern side. So we've, we've connected the entire province. In New Brunswick, where we have energy production that isn't also producing emissions like our hydro dams, electric vehicles are even more environmentally friendly because the energy that they're using to charge the vehicle is produced in a clean way, in a green manner, that the energy production itself isn't also producing emissions. It is projected that the growth of electric vehicle ownership in New Brunswick will continue to increase year over year. 
I certainly think it's possible that electric vehicles may replace gas-powered cars entirely in the market. I think in the more immediate future, we will see electric vehicles become equal to gas-powered cars in popularity. That's already happening in some places. Um, some people are expecting there to be price parity between electric vehicles and gas-powered cars as soon as 2024, which will significantly help with uh, the popularity of electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are an efficient mode of transportation that is environmentally friendly, convenient, and can improve the quality of life for the owner 